Well, hello, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this will be a short video today. I had kind of a tough day on the water, but mainly because I spent most of the day paying attention to the new fish finder, trying to see what's going on with it. Uh, getting started pretty quick and just gonna run through what, I, what I've learned about this sonar unit and particularly with my O-Town PDL 106. One, the transducer does not fit on the on the mount area on the bottom of the kayak it's too long so even with like a recessed one or whatever you can't put the pedal down pedal drive down with it out there so if you're like me and you've already got spots for it to go you're just out of luck on that just know the sonar is too long to put your drive down at the same time if you're under mounted so this is how it's going to be i'm going to reinforce it as you can probably see a little yeah that zip ties on there it's a really heavy sonar i had to get out here i've had it like two weeks now i had to test it but i'm gonna get a metal bracket and just reinforce around and put some jb weld to hold it and we're gonna make sure that's nice and firm and can still move so one of the first things i did this morning was i went into the features oh sorry not the features the system and what was advanced and yeah the features from here this is where i want i turned off the i turned off a few things like i don't have live side active target sirius xm i don't have an audio server i don't have autopilot and turning off things like autopilot really did help because when you have autopilot and some of these other settings on it takes up a portion of the screen over here on the side i've got the seven inch so to free it up and because i'm on a kayak and i'm not going to sync up with that I just came in here and I turned it off under the settings or the settings system advanced and turn off the feature. I'm going to drive over some stuff and kind of show you what it looks like over here in the in the shade. So hopefully you can see the screen pretty well. You can kind of see all the fish down there around that tree, eh? All right, so you can kind of get a visual on what we went through and picked up. Clearly, you can see some of that structure is visible, but, but the degree of detail you get over here is different. Now, let's say I wanted to map some of that. I can touch this screen, and I can scroll back. And if I say, hey, I want a waypoint, that tree, I can do it from the side scan. I can do it from the down scan. doesn't matter. I can hit my waypoint, modify this. I don't even know... If there's a tree one, I couldn't find it earlier, so I've been using the grass. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably, uh, that's relevant enough for me. And then it adds up here to our map. And we can see back where that was placed at. But, yeah, as far as the settings go, you know, know that when you do touch it, like, it kind of, it stops the scroll. So if I have that there, I'm moving. If I want to go back, I just clear cursor, I'll wait 15 seconds, it'll start moving. But it my menu settings i did change my color i like the green for my side scan i find the reds the best that i have right now for the down probably change that at night right contrast i did go up some i was finding i was having a tough time differentiating between the surface levels like what was soft what was hard so raising that up three instead of auto seemed to help i'll set it back before i'm done today i did find the frequency um, when I was way back in the shallow, it was really mucky, really hard to see what's happening on the screen. Going lower actually helped with that. It didn't pick up all the little things in the water. So I guess I will be changing that from time to time. As for the map, I actually don't have one of Broadway loaded. I thought I did. I thought I loaded a Genesis Live because I knew from looking at the Contour Plus, it wasn't going to be on there. But I was 100% wrong. <laughs> I did not load Lake Broadway. So what I've done is I've turned on Genesis Live. If I go in here, let me clear cursor, hit my menu. I'm going to go over and you see my overlay is Genesis, Genesis Live. Now if I did have the map loaded, I would go more options. Right now I'm on CMAP Social. That's their, that's their Genesis Maps, right? The ones you get for free, genesismaps.com that you can download the contour or the cmap contour plus comes with them cmap social map is the free didn't exist so when i come in here 
So I have the SD card in, you know, it goes underneath the Orance. You've probably seen this on a hundred other videos by now. This is probably like your 20th video you've watched if you're down the totem pole this far. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but it, it actually looks really good. The Garmin Striker 7SV didn't look good when mapping, but this overall, like that looks, you know, it takes a minute to update. It's not as fast as the Contour Plus I see, but it looks legit, right? Like this is, this is Contour mapping, whereas the Garmin Striker 7SV always looks second rate. If you were to actually do this lake, the way it rounds the edges instead of just having square blocks like it's Minecraft, this would be legitimate. Like I, I would use that and wouldn't, wouldn't be able to tell the difference really. On that, it was pretty easy to get in here and get going. You know, if you can remember to create your custom views using your favorites button, just the plus, drag them over in any order you want. You know, it's nothing rocket science. Um, you can go up to four. I wouldn't do that on the seven inch though. That looks ridiculous. I did try it. I immediately deleted it. Other than that, I didn't set a lot. You know, you have alarms, vessels, info, storage. Storage is where you can go to verify what lakes you have. Um, also to view your manual if you need it. You know, if you get stuck out here trying to do something, you do have the manual in there. Take note of that. Storage, my memory card. All of these are maps, right? Like you got to expand them out to see what their name, but let me see, did I not have one for Broadway? Yeah, I just totally didn't put Broadway on there. So there is one out there. I don't have to keep recording. I just did it today so I can kind of see my way on the way back. But uh, yeah. So one thing I didn't do today that you're going to want to do, because if I had known this, I would have done it all day long, right? You're going to want to go into your settings. You're going to want to go underneath your sonar. Log sonar. Create structure map. Record. Now it'll actually keep... Like you see the, the recording dots, fantastic. Now I'm gonna have it, everything I cover. I'm gonna do a lap and show you. I've done some recording. Let me see if I go to my menu, my overlay, my structure. Oh yes, look at that. Let's go full map. And we're gonna zoom in. Turn off these trails, I know that's over here. So here we can see Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. Everything I just recorded on the sonar at a high level, right? So I know this is where some of the trees were and I can look over and I can kind of see the swirl. That's the big one I went around. It doesn't look that great from this image, but it is obvious to me, hey, there is something there. I went around, I knew the general area. If I missed this and I wanted to go back at the boat ramp and get it, I could easily come back over and say, hey, where was it at? It was the waypoint I set. Yeah, I kind of hate you don't see both at the same time, but that's all right, right? The overlay would work better on the Contour Plus, but that's cool, right? One thing that's really cool is this fish reveal. That's from the chirp sonar, these little green lines. This actually blends over, so I don't have to use that chirp if I'm trying to see what's, what's around me fish-wise from like the traditional view. And something else I can do is I can also, let me see where it's at. More options back up. So, so what I can do, in addition to having this palette color is red that I like here, I can go to fish reveal options and I can change my palette over here. That's how I get that green. I could easily say, make them white, you know, whatever color I want over here. I just happen to think that uh, that's a good offset. I like that. Yeah. Fish reveal, you know it's owned. When that orange dot line is checked, if you turn it off, you'll see it's just flat. You'll still see fish dots, like you'll still be able to recognize them if you're used to it, 
but Fisherville will give you a hand finding them if if you're not used to seeing them. So, all right, so that's first lessons learned. I'm sure there'll be more. Um, <laughs> I did plan on showing you how to mount it on the kayak, but no point in doing that if I can't mount it the other way. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to reinforce it and then maybe do a walkthrough of how it actually works in the setup. Figure out what I'm going to do with the cables. I might still run the cables down inside the kayak for the transducer, but we'll see that means i'll have to detach it and get the transducer in the kayak and i'm not very keen on that this three-in-one active imaging transducer is not cheap um it's not their their active imaging you know it's not their live scope version but it's not cheap so i'm just gonna ride over here to the ramp i'm gonna load up and in the meantime i'm probably just gonna record some screens